Hi guys, today I'm going to give you a little glimpse into my sketchbook from February of this year all the way up until the end of October. I started this book with Ink Nouveau Lanterns, which was a fun way to crack in and just kind of doodle a little bit. Like all my sketchbooks, I have a fun intro page and then I like to do one that's a little more curated, let's say, to have that timestamp saved. On this page, I have a couple embracing and my intention was try to capture the emotion between them. The following page, I had a lot of fun experimenting with ballpoint pen and marker. I love how the texture of the leaves came out, giving a cascading down feeling. Next, I have a caricature of this little mobster guy doing laundry with his weirdly phallic-shaped home. These two upcoming spreads feature two girl busts that I had a lot of fun experimenting with. I tried out different markers and inks, so it was a lot of fun to just doodle and see what came forward. As my sketchbook progresses, you'll notice a reoccurring theme of these, and they kind of have become my go-to doodle. I'm not really sure why that came about, but they're definitely a clear favorite of mine. Flipping over, we have some ink doodles of eggs, chicks, and lambs. I think this was around Easter time. Moving on to the spooky lady. I enjoy drawing fabric, especially draped on the human form, so this was just another practice of that. But during this drawing, I did realize I really need to work on my hand anatomy as it was seriously lacking, which leads us to the next few spreads, which I actually cover in a video a few months back on my channel where I practice drawing hands and hand anatomy. Here we have our alien duo. We have a cyclops on one side and then just an alien girl on the other. This was obviously more of an experimental piece, just doodling and seeing what came, playing with those Posca markers. Flipping to the next guy, I actually had a dream about him and I wanted to draw him because he was so eerie and creepy in my dream. And I wanted to practice techniques that I learned from Steven Zapata's online course. So this was a combination of those two elements. The next two set of pages consist of more experimental studies. So we have the first page, which has some ink studies to practice texture, as well as some graphite studies on the following two pages. For the next few spreads, I have more works in graphite, the first being an inspired piece from the Akatar series of Elaine and Azrael. This definitely was a challenge to interpret the light source and probably could have been executed a little bit better. Then we have two girls, one a fashion illustration where I added white marker to the pearls to make them pop more, and another girl which is a moth-like creature with a dripping planet behind her. The elements with white marker definitely added a nice texture and a different dynamic to the pieces. And finally, we have a raven and a bunny going to a ball, which is an extremely fun drawing to do. This might be my favorite drawing in the whole book. I had a lot of fun with the details of the raven suit and the way the bunny's features looked. I definitely see my graphite skills improving as I progress through the sketchbook. On the next page, we have a guy I drew with ink and I was just practicing different textures and techniques on this page. And when we flip over on the next page, we have some more doodles. This is where I kind of was experimenting with little figures parachuting down from the building with that gigantic eye and it was this dystopian looking place. This one was a lot of fun to create. This guy is a little creepy. Again, we have him with ink. I believe this was with fountain pen. And we have some nouveau head pieces dangling off of him. Here I have a church which I drew on location. I took three different brush pens with me and I limited myself to those. This was great practice for having a limited color palette and experimenting with that as well as with those brush pens which can be very intimidating to pick up. On the next page I have some pressed flowers which I like to gather and you'll see them occasionally pop up in my sketchbooks. The next spread is some ink buildings with red Posca marker in the background. The following spread is another one done on location with fountain pen and marker. 
This was just a quick sketch. It was nice to sketch outside, especially when the seasons were changing. Just to capture this was very lovely and a very good time. The last two pages I have here are pen drawings with two little pumpkins that I picked up from Trader Joe's. It was really fun to set these up with a lamp and play with the lighting sources, as well as adding some marker to them. So that's how I've completed this sketchbook. Overall, I'm really happy with how this book came out and I would love to hear your feedback and what spread was your favorite from this book. So comment below, like, subscribe. It really helps me share my art journey with more people. Till next time.